Hello, it's Thomas George, and in this video, we're going to have a look at making a trap style drum beat in Ableton Live 9. So, one of the first things to actually look at is the drum rack. So, this is fantastic in Ableton. This just allows you to actually kind of build your own drum rack, really, so you can insert your own samples. So, just drag this over to a MIDI track, and then down here, what you can do. Just find samples and drag them in. I recommend getting something called a Lex Luger drum kit. It's a sample pack. And here, it's got kind of the traditional trap sounds. Of course, you don't have to use these. These are kind of the standard ones. A guy called Lex Luger actually uh, yeah, made these samples. So we've got stuff like the kick. So let's just drag this over. And all we have to do is just drag and drop down. And then it's really about just going through and finding what kind of sound you want. Classic ones like the snare. I like to have the snare on the D, um, the kick on C, and normally some kind of clap on the C sharp. And yeah, it's really just about going through and just yeah, dragging them in. You can put them where you want, but this is from finger drumming on the keyboard. I generally like to have the crash on C sharp. Let's try this on D sharp. Some nice hats as well. F sharp and G sharp's where I have them. Let's get a clap as well. Okay, and C sharp. Okay, and then all you have to do really is just type them in. So just hit B to open up your pencil tool. It really depends on what you actually want. What you can do is, of course, drag this out so it's a bit longer. What's quite popular in a lot of trap music is the arpeggiated snare, um, snares and hi-hats. So what you can do, going back to the piano roll, is just get the same hat. So this is hat number four. Just drag it over a few times. So we can actually put an arpeggiator on some of these hats. So if we go over to MIDI effects, arpeggiator, and just drag it over. So this one has an arpeggiator now. So let's have this as an eight note. Actually, let's try a sixteenth. And this one we can have as 12s. And this one we can have as, let's try 24th. We can add another one as well. Let's go back on the sample pack here. And let's put this as 30 seconds. You'll see in a moment if you haven't quite clocked what I'm doing. So remember it goes from this. G sharp up. Okay, if we click on here, so we can start say there. You'll notice if we go back to uh, here, we can actually trigger these to here. So the first one, don't really need eighth notes. Go crazy and put 60, 48s. Okay, and let's go back to the MIDI information. Just drag in what we want. Obviously, you don't want to overdo it. This is just an example, really. So maybe here we could do this. Then go down to here, and then maybe just none there. See what this sounds like. Maybe not these ones here. Might want to keep it just a bit more simple. Really depends on what kind of sound you're after. Personal taste, preference. 
lot of the time you might want to have the snare on beat 3. You can always double it up with a clap as well if you want a bit more punchy. Let's just hear this quick looper made. Kind of a bit too busy with the hats at the moment. kind of thing it really does depend on what you actually want to do of course we can do the same kind of thing with the snares as well just dragging on arpeggiators so let's do this here so we've got this snare you can hold down alt and just copy this over as well hold down alt hold down alt and then from here we can actually add on arpeggiator so this one we could have say 12ths and this one say 16ths this one's say 24th, so we can make it a bit more crazy, 30 seconds, 24th, 16th. So let's try that, and then we can do the same kind of thing with the snares if we want. Let's change this one. So it's all about just going through and experimenting, really. There's no real kind of golden rule. It's just kind of a do what you think sounds good, I guess. Okay, let's add some pitch as well. So here we can actually change the pitch. So all we have to do is go MIDI effects up here and pitch and we can just change some of these pitches as well if we want. Of course, you can add other stuff to the drum rack as well. So we could go back. But it does really depend what you want to do. But generally, I'd say simpler the better. So I could take out some of these hats. And you probably don't want too much of these arpeggiated fills because it could, be, could get a bit annoying. Same with the crash, just keep it simple. It's just a basic kind of groove I'm just throwing together. And like I said, you can add other samples to this. So let's just go back to the drum rack. Just hit this button here, down here at the bottom. And this will go to the drum rack selection. Okay, and uh, yeah, let's go back to Lex Luger. And you can add other stuff as well, like chants. So there's some cool samples here. Try vocal on this D2. And then. Of 
course, we could go in, we can arpeggiate that as well, we could pitch that as well. I'm just going to pitch that down a bit, make it sound a bit more growly. And of course, um, if we go on audio effects, mini effects, pitch, and just drag it on. And of course, we can add some distortion and stuff to some of these as well if we want to make it a bit more growly. So we can go in audio effects, and then choose overdrive actually, drag on overdrive. We can change the tone, add the drive. This is just the basic way, really, of just creating just a trap style drum beat in Ableton Live with the drum rack. It's just really simple. You just go through and change the individual sound. So, say, for example, we want the kick nice, loud, and punchy. Just go down here. You can change the volumes on this actual drum rack as well. A lot of it's about the tempo, we can change the tempo, move this up to 140 beats per minute, move in half time to 70, but really trap music is generally about 140, we can play it as half time but in this instance, about this kind of vibe. This is really just the beat. There's so much more in that goes in this style of music. Just a really quick video about how to make a trap style drum beat in Ableton Live 9. The main thing I'd say is get a decent sample pack and also, yeah, arpeggiate and change the pitch of some of the hats and the snares. But generally, yeah, it's just nice sample pack. Whacking out the arpeggiator onto this drum rack, which is really fantastic in Ableton Live. This is a really quick video of how you can actually start making a trap beat straight away in Ableton Live 9. If you'd like to continue learning with me, I do have a complete Ableton Live 9 course. If you check out thomasgeorge.com, there's uh, access to this on here as well. Or if you want to check out my academy, which is u.thomasgeorge.com, where you have access to my courses as well, if you want to check that out. This, but yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Remember to give it a thumbs up if you think this is a useful video. Give it a thumbs down if you think this is pointless, don't do it. But yeah, thank you again for watching this video and I'll see you soon.